Ancient Rome was an empire of poor people, of poor rural farmers who comprised some 80% of the population. That demographic, 80% rural poor, 20% urban rich, is now extinct on our planet. It's becoming very hard to imagine. I study those Roman 80%, their lives, and what the development economist Amartya Sen called their capabilities, their potential for betterment. Those potentials, those capabilities, seem to have been considerable, as we're finding advanced technical knowledge, innovative responses to risk, and complex financial instruments. I've also been interested in how globalism impacted the Roman poor. Did the Roman pan-Mediterranean system bring exploitation or opportunity? The answer, of course, is both. But from their taste for imported wine to their willingness to take their complaints straight to the emperor himself, we actually have these letters, I'm struck by how determined were the poor to steer empire to their advantage. Many of you here today attending Quaker Days and are probably wondering, what can a liberal arts degree do for me? What is, in fact, the value of studying, say, ancient languages or ancient history? My man Ben Franklin here would have answered that it was from the Republic of Cicero and Cincinnatus that he and the Founding Fathers would build a new republic with freedom and justice for all. I would add that it was from that same ancient republic in which economic advantage accrued to so few that the poor themselves might teach us how to solve our own persistent challenges of poverty and inequality. Thank you.